Welcome to Sichuan, a land of 486,000 square kilometers with a population of 91 million and the hometown of giant pandas. The unique geographical features, presence of rare species and great biodiversity have endowed Sichuan with spectacular beauty. Sichuan has five world natural and cultural heritages, ranking it number two in China. Sichuan is a marvelous place that has entranced people for thousands of years. Since antiquity, Sichuan has earned the nickname, the Land of Abundance. It is the cradle of the profound and colorful Bashu culture, which has greatly influenced Chinese national culture. Sichuan was home of many historical figures, such as King Dayu, the famous poets Sima Xianglu, Li Bai, Du Fu, and Su Dongpo, the great writer Ba Jin, and the renowned painter Zhang Daqian. Sichuan also has a large number of historical sites. Even Zhaozi, the earliest form of paper currency in the world, was officially issued in Sichuan. The open and humorous Sichuan people are notorious for living a leisurely and colorful life. The relaxed Sichuan lifestyle is often enjoyed alongside the aroma of a fine cup of tea. Don't be surprised if you find yourself slowing your steps to take in the surroundings. Sichuan is the hometown of the former Chinese leader Deng Xiaoping. The central government has high hopes on Sichuan's development, expecting the province to play a leading role in Western development and build a more outward-oriented economy. In 2015, Sichuan is listed as the pilot reform region for all-round innovation and in 2016, the Sichuan Free Trade Testing Area was approved. Sichuan is a base for modern industries and an important hub of new technological innovations. Is the financial, logistic, and commercial center and is a popular tourist destination in West China. <laughs> Shale gas, energy saving and environmental protection equipment, information security, aerospace and aircraft engine development and new energy vehicle industries are now becoming prominent industries in the economy. With the biggest economy in West China, Sichuan's GDP reached 3 trillion yuan in 2015 ranking it the sixth overall in China. Through developing cities as new economic centers and promoting coordinated development between industrialization and urbanization, 
and innovation-driven industries, Sichuan is on its way to become an even more powerful province with an all-round better-off society. In accordance to the One Belt, One Road and the Yangtze River Economic Belt Plan, Sichuan has an incomparable geological advantage. It is the bridgehead for China to go further west and the gateway for the world to come into China. Sichuan is now constructing an extensive transportation network that connects the north with south, the east with the west, and the rivers with the seas. The Chengdu European Railway provides direct cargo transportation from Sichuan to Europe. Eighty-nine international flight routes connect Sichuan with the world. The Tianfu International Airport, currently under construction, will make Chengdu the third city in China, following Beijing and Shanghai, to have two international airports. Sichuan has established economic and trade relations with 216 countries and regions. The number of consulates has reached 16, ranking it the third highest in China. Three hundred and sixteen out of the total of five hundred and thirty foreign enterprises that have branches in Sichuan are Fortune 500 enterprises. distant land near. This is a famous poem written in the Tang Dynasty for friends going to Sichuan. Now the poem is still a vivid reflection of friendship between Sichuan and the rest of the world. Wherever you are from, Sichuan is always there, welcoming you with open arms.